what for you has been the favorite part of or the most memorable part of representing the West Indies so far in your career? There, there were a few. Of course, you have the, the one wicket win against Ireland. That was like memorable, especially being on the the tenth anniversary of my father's death. You know, that 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 for me is gonna be like in the top five. The first T twenty against Australia, that's up there. And me getting the five wicket at Hall. I think that might be my one of my number one. Probably joint number one with Ireland and taking a five wicket hall because you know, I was nowhere near Nowhere near the ODI team, and it so happened that Fabian Allen was hurt. Quite a few guys were hurt, and I remember, <laughs> I remember, I was in, I was still in the bubble, and I, I they had, there was ODI practice. I didn't go to, to any of the practices, and the night before, the coach messaged me, and he was like, "You're in the team. You're in the team for tomorrow." I was like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> and still I thought I was in the team so I thought I was just like in the 13 because Fabian Allen was out so I was like okay well Fabian is out and maybe I'm just going to go there as a substitute I went to breakfast the next morning and I was at breakfast and I heard so I was speaking to Jason and Jason was like hey then like you might play today I was like what <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even have my, I went to the ground and my gear bag wasn't even there. So I was, <laughs> I was warming up in my, I remember warming, warming up in my sneakers, like bowling in my sneakers. <laughs> and, and I got my, I got my gear bag and I don't know what happened. I, just, I bowled really well and I got five wickets, <laughs> you know, but. Me playing that, me playing that ODI series, I it was really far away from me. I wasn't nowhere mentally thinking, okay, well, and I may play or I may get five wickets. <laughs> so yeah, it. I think that that's that's one of the memorable, one of one of the memorable moments for me. This is the first ODI that was at Kensington Oval in Barbados. Back on July 28th, you took five for 39 in that match. One of the things that's remarkable for me about that is from my own memory, being on tour with USA, covering USA in the UAE back in 2019 before the team went to Namibia. You were a net bowler for the Australians. <laughs> oh, yes. You're bowling to Aaron Finch. You're bowling to Peter Hanscom. You're bowling to some of the other guys who were part of that tour. And for me, it was just so remarkable to have witnessed and observed for your career arc to go from being a net bowler for the Australians with the USA team, where again, there's this attitude of associate players are there to be net bowlers for full member <laughs> players. They're not supposed to compete against full member players. They're not supposed to line up on the opposite side of the field against full member players. And yet two years later, there you are bowling to Aaron Finch and the rest of the Australian team in the T20 series. And then in the ODIs, when you think back to that, in March of 2019, to then where you wound up on the opposite side of the field, not being a net bowler, but taking a five-wicket hole against the Australians in an ODI and being the leading wicket taker against the Australians in a T20I series. What to you is the most remarkable and gratifying part of that journey? I don't know. Like, you know, it's to think about it, it's, it's just so... It's wild. <laughs> it's definitely one of those things that I couldn't tell you, well, yeah, I was going to come ball, be a net ball, and I'm going to come and play international cricket for West Indy. I couldn't write that script. It's just to show you, you know, once you put your mind to anything, you can, you know, you can be whatever you want to be. And being in associate cricket, I think that, Everyone in associate cricket, like all the teams, you know, should you know aspire to be at that top level, um, because uh, yeah, it's you know you have your difficulties training and all that stuff, but you know we are all the same people. We're all the same, you know. We have blood, we have tears, you know. We we're, we're made up of the same thing, so you know there isn't to say that. 
you know, associate cricketers can't compete with full member nations. So I really would like USA to, you know, have that aspiration to be on that level and to not just to be there, but to perform. And, you know, you, you just need that mentality to, to get there. And everyone, it, it, it shouldn't be one person. It should be everyone buying into one system and everyone wanting to, you know, go, go in the same direction.